If you had decided by now that referendums were dangerous and unpredictable and should be stopped, then Catalonia is a lesson in the dangers of stopping them. Not tanks blocking Barcelona's febrile streets, but tractors. An agricultural hit squad enraged by the government's attempts to shut down tomorrow's vote on independence. These trundling sons of the Catalan soil bringing a message of revolutionary defiance. Catalonia doesn't need to break away from the rest of Spain, but it feels culturally different here. And people feel they've been taken for granted for far too long. And the phrase you hear again and again is if the Scots can have a referendum, then why can't we? In the old days, these Che Guevara's might have brought pitchforks. Now it's comrades John Deere and Massey Ferguson and their children along for the ride as well. If in Scotland and in other countries are possible to vote, I think that is possible to vote in Catalonia. Catalonia's national anthem says it will be rich and bountiful again by driving the conceited and arrogant away. In other words, use your ballot paper against Madrid tomorrow. Though what you don't hear here is that just 41% of Catalans want independence, according to a recent poll. Uh, I mean, I don't really look at any of the polls because I don't really believe in them. I think, I mean, on Sunday we'll see, but... Um, well, you may not see on Sunday because people may not turn up. I think they will. I, I think the only problem is going to be the police not letting us get into the schools to vote. Thousands of police reinforcements are being housed in ships in Barcelona's port. And this afternoon, a police column was spotted moving into the city under orders to shut potential polling stations by 6 tomorrow morning. But Catalan protesters are waiting for them, staging sleepovers to keep alive what Spain's government and highest court judged to be an illegal vote. For now, it's camping and croissants in the polling stations, but it could turn ugly later. So free classes in defending yourself from police brutality, which, if it happens, could boost the independence cause. This is the town of Cerdanyola del Valles, where the local mayor is one of over 700 facing possible arrest for making tomorrow's vote possible. At one of the town's schools this morning, we saw police checking if they could get inside, but the mayor told us he would ban them from the building. Me as a mayor have the key of, of all schools because they, they are uh, public buildings belonging to the city hall, so I have the, the, the key for every, every door, every lock. And but the police could open. stand outside and they can say you can't come in? They will advise us you shouldn't do that, but we, do, we will do it. <laughs> Last night, Spain's High Court ordered Google to delete this phone app, which tells voters where the polling stations are. And yesterday, the Catalan regional government's IT headquarters were taken over by police, following arrests last week. More than 250 websites have been shut down by the Spanish government. This is unprecedented in Western Europe. Uh, this is a thing which is only happening in Turkey and in North Korea and it goes against uh, European laws. Uh, so you're saying people are getting angry at the government's attempts to stop it. Does that mean more people will vote? Well, uh, we'll see that on, on Sunday. Last night, we got a sense of civic and national pride here at Catalonia's Museum of Art, in a city which sometimes feels like Edinburgh on the Mediterranean, where later tens of thousands gathered to hear the Catalan president, Carles Puigdemont, pledge the vote would go ahead. Even if, as seems likely, millions of Catalans, happy to remain Spanish, will simply ignore it. The majority of the Catalans thinks that they feel comfortable in Spain, and they feel part of Spain, and they don't want to split off Spain and, and, and split off Europe as well, because it, it's like an automatic uh, effect. So how are you going to be spending Sunday then? I'm not going to participate in, in, in an illegal referendum.
This evening there were scuffles as protesters chanted I am Spanish and called for the referendum's organisers to be sent to jail. Thousands of Spanish government supporters are on the streets, ahead of a vote which will not end divisions here and may well make them worse. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Barcelona. At around half past nine this morning, riot police moved towards the Ramon Lul Primary School, pushing back voters standing in their way. The Spanish government pledged to stop this referendum and here they unceremoniously did. They burst into the polling station, removing the ballot boxes with all the aplomb of pantomime villains. We will vote, the crowd chanted in Catalan. And then with their ballot papers in police custody, protesters tried to stop them from being driven away. Spanish police then opened fire with baton rounds and rubber bullets. Defending the law, they said, resisting harassment and provocation. Though an observer from the European Parliament told me this was not what he had come to observe. I was supposed to witness a democratic process, a voting, a voting. When the Guardia Civil stormed the building, then took the, 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 the ballot boxes by force, and then, then shooting at people with, with, uh, with uh, like plastic or, or don't know, rubber bullets, they were flying around my head. This is not allowed. The injured showed us their wounds, badges of injustice in their struggle for independence. And the ballot boxes disappeared to an angry farewell. So Spanish police have decided to follow the letter of the law and shut this referendum down no matter what images are sent to the outside world and no matter what anybody else thinks. In the town of Girona, police smashed their way into a polling station just before the Catalan president was expected to be voting there. With scenes like this, he was advised to change his plans at the last minute. At one point, police were seen hitting local firefighters who were defending protesters, an appalling own goal for the Spanish state. Yesterday, a minority of Catalans were thought to want independence. Today, we can't be so sure. Before dawn this morning, and several hundred supporters of independence were occupying the Laurels Primary School in Barcelona in what had been an all-night vigil of fun and games. At 7 a.m., two policemen arrived hunting for ballot boxes, and the organizers let them in. The police are told there are no ballot boxes, that this is just a party to celebrate the coming of autumn. The officers take some names, and then they leave to grateful applause. Less than 10 minutes later, there's a call for hush, and the ballot boxes are rushed in, hidden in black bin bags, the contraband of so-called democracy. And in scenes repeated across the Catalonian capital, long queues of voters begin to form. The very first here is Adela Marcos Torres, aged 91, a refugee from the Spanish Civil War, who tells me today's violence is merely a continuation of the Franco dictatorship and to be expected. At 9 a.m. the polls open, there is almost certainly nobody here voting against independence in what is a self-selecting illegal rebellion against Spanish rule and the biggest constitutional crisis since the end of the Franco era. Inside, they are desperate to keep things professional, to make this vote count for something, even if millions of Catalans oppose it. Police impounded some nine million ballot papers last month, but nothing was going to stop them here. What's wrong with Spain? What's wrong with Spain? Well, a lot of corruption in the leading party. Um, 
that they are treating us unfairly. Are you not frightened of the riot police who are out not. trying to stop people? We are here just voting, so we have no, no fear of them. If they try to, to stop us, we'll have to resist peacefully. Late this afternoon, we saw another polling station doing just that by barricading itself in. And this video has emerged of more removals by force. The government said police had acted proportionately today, though local and national police are now arguing amongst themselves about their behaviour. This referendum has resolved nothing. Neither side accepts responsibility for what has happened here. And on Catalonian independence, neither side is in the mood to give in. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Barcelona.